So you want to be an influencer, a content creator, a brand, a personality on social media. I think that's a really cool goal. You've probably seen some YouTube videos explaining how you can do this. There's one thing in common that these videos talk about. It's niching down. Although I believe niching down matters and it's an important thing, I think there's something else that is just as important as niching down. And today I want to talk about that and I've got a couple friends with me that might have an opinion on this topic. Alex, Hello. hi. What's the first tip that you got before you started content creating? I think it was probably to pick a niche that you want to stick to. But I feel like now what I've learned is you could pick a niche or you could also pick a target audience. Think about who's following you and what type of content they want to see. When it comes to niches, I think it's less important that you define a niche that is like, this is exactly what I want to do. I think it's more important to define either a style or a format of content. So if you think of working for a client or working for a brand and having them be integrated with your content, if you're producing something that's consistent where when that brand or that client wants to work with you and they can see that you have a consistent stream of content, then that's predictable and they know what they're gonna get. So I think it's less important that you define your niche in the sense of like, this is the only specific thing that I'm doing, but rather a format or a style of content that you produce. You know how in storytelling there's a story A and a story B? Niching and becoming a name is sort of like that too. An example to story A and a story B is that as my story A today, I'm talking about niching. And my B story is that I'm in Quebec City with friends and I'm gonna show you guys the city. That is the story B. And I think that becoming a content creator, influencer, whatever you wanna call it, has a story A and a story B as well. You can treat your niche as your story A and then the second thing I'm gonna tell you as the story B. And before we get too ahead with this video, let me just say that I haven't made it. I'm just a guy who loves having his life surrounded with photography and filmmaking. And that's it. Now, quickly, let's talk about why niching is actually important. Would you expect to see, you know, toilet papers from Apple? Probably not, right? You want people to know you for something specific and not having a niche works against that. The fact that you need a niche is 100% the truth. But I think there is something else that is just as important and maybe more important important than having a niche. It is to have a message. Let's say you make videos about photography and filmmaking. That's your niche. But your message is what's going to make you stand out. Your message is going to allow you to connect with people that think like you. Think of the photographer YouTubers. They all have different lifestyles and a different message. And some of them you feel a lot closer because your message aligns with them and you feel like you're best friends with them. So having a message is really important and it just makes you stand out. And just a side note, when people say YouTube is saturated, I strongly disagree with that because your message, your values, and your history is just not the same with others. So regardless of how saturated the market is, you will have people that will watch you for your message. But I get it, sometimes finding that message, that slogan, whatever it is, it's really hard to find. And as you know, in this channel, I wanna talk about the whys and not so much the hows. And let me just open that for you a little bit more. The why is, is the reason why we do this, why we story tell. And the hows are basically what we tell the story with. This is the technical stuff. Although this stuff matters, I just don't wanna discuss this stuff too much in this channel. So my channel, will align with people that really care about the why and not so much the how. And the how is really important too and we need people to make videos about hows so that I can watch them and better myself. But how did I come up with my message? And how can you come up with yours? My simplest trick for that is remember why you started doing this in first place. I got into photography and filmmaking because 
it seemed like it was borderless. It didn't have any rules. There was no right or wrong, unless you were shooting stuff in 60 frames and shooting with Nikon and stuff like that. <laughs> Other than the main stuff, there really wasn't anything wrong. I liked that. I was like, I can do anything I want. I can tell the stories that I want without sticking to rules. That is how I found my message. And I recommend you to do the same. Think about why you started in the first place. Think about the moment you decided to buy a camera. What made you do that? And that might just be your message. Again, I just wanna say that I'm not a huge YouTuber. I don't make money with influencing. I run my own production company and that's how I make a living. But if I ever become a full-time YouTuber, I know it's gonna be because of my message. That's it for today. I've got really cool stuff planned out. If you made it this far, I thank you so much. If you got excited when you saw that I uploaded something, I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Thank you.